Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. Now, quite a bit has changed on my island as you may see if you did watch my previous video. Before we hop into the video, if you guys haven't joined my Discord yet, make sure you guys do join with the link in the description down below. Also, make sure to like and subscribe if you do enjoy. We are so close to the 100 subscribers, so let's keep it going. Other than that, let's hop into the video. Alright guys, before we do hop into the video, I thought I would give you guys a quick update on the island. Now, as you may see, I have changed my mining bot setup, and I've gotten quite a few more. I currently have 11 mining rope bots, which are all maxed, and I have 3 grinding boat robots that are also maxed. I do have the auto cell chest still going. I did get up to villages in my IS mastery, and as you can see, 140,000 have been killed. But to get up to guardians, we need to kill 1 million villagers, so it is going to take quite some time. At the moment, I am trying to just spend my money on villagers to get them back so that I can be making even more money. If we also check out my skills, I haven't done too much more mining since the last episode. I am only level 19 here. On logging, I haven't done much of that, but I will most likely be doing a video on that a little bit later on. I am level 5 here. My grinding is level 26 and my farming is 22. So somehow my grinding is level 26, but that's mainly just because of the IS masteries for mobs. At the moment, I am trying to get as far as possible in my farming. It's what I'm sticking to. Currently, I do have the melon farm and I have a carrot and I also do have a nether wart farm. If we have a look at my IS perks, I did max out the auto replant just from doing pumpkins. Uh, the pumpkin farm is gone now just because I need the melon one to get through my IS mastery. I am on sugarcane. I only got there last night, so I haven't done too much grinding on here. As you can see, I've only done 20,000. So I am slowly working towards cactus, but my plan is to stick on sugarcane and grind out here to get my levels up, seeing that sugarcane is very easy to continuously grind. I am also going to get my island size perk upgraded quickly. So I'll most likely get onto that after this episode so I can make the sugarcane farm even bigger to hopefully make it continuous. My hoe is currently looking like this. I've got a lot of books to put on. I can almost max it with the books that I've got, although I just don't have the XP as you can see. I do have my skill pet mythic up to level 5 now, so I am slowly progressing that. And in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how good robots really can be, especially when you get even more of them. So the first thing that we'll get into is on how to get the grinding and mining robots. If we have a quick look at the keys, the vote keys and cloud keys, neither of them can give you robots. The storm key can give you a mining robot if you guys do get some storm keys and open them up. Also, the Tempest Keys are the best keys to be getting robots from, seeing you can get two mining robot eggs from here, and you can get a grinding robot from here as well. Now, getting those robots from the keys, of course, just comes down to straight luck. But these keys you can get from the key alls that the server does daily. Or you can get the keys from simply grinding and getting either Celestial Hunter on any of your grinding equipment, or getting up high enough in the skills to unlock. Talking about skills, if I just go into any skill, for example, I'll show you the mining skill. If we come over to level 37, you can get a mining robot from this. So if you grind right up, you'll be able to get a mining robot. Then if we head over to level 63, you can get a grinding robot. So if you keep grinding through your skills, you're gonna be rewarded with these robots. But of course, it will take you a while to get towards these levels. So I've gotten all of these ro mining robots from crate keys and also rewards. These grinding robots, straight up, not 100% sure where I got them for, from, but I do believe I've gotten them from grinding in my skills for the Slayer skills. I did get them while I was grinding up through the IS Mastery, so I either got the grinding robots through the IS Mastery or through my Slayer skills. So I do recommend while you're grinding through your skills, make sure you keep your, 
your inventory a little bit empty so you can get any possible rewards that you might get throughout. And then there is the most obvious way to get mining robots. The most obvious way for grind for robots is to buy them. Now as you can see at different islands, I'm currently at Eyes Visit X. They are selling mining robots for 7.5 mil and grinding robots for 45 mil. If we do have a look on AH, you can see that grinding robots, someone's listed them for 200 mil, which is crazy. But there's also a mining robot for 15 mil. So when you guys are buying these, you've got to make sure you've got an idea of what the current price is. Buying the robots from shops like the one I just showed you and from AH are probably your best bet to get them, seeing the other methods come down to a lot of grinding and pot luck. But of course, you can get lucky and you can keep grinding through your skills to get up towards getting even more. I did a very simple test with the grinding and mining robots. After 10 minutes of just AFKing them, the grinding robots each made 123 gems and 62 XP. In 10 minutes, the mining robots made 21 gems and 5 XP. So clearly, the grinding robots are way better, but that is obviously why they are worth so much more. Mind you, the robots are all maxed. I'm not, I don't currently have any level one robots, so I'm not able to give you guys a estimate on how long they on how many gems they make per 10 minutes, but that is how much these robots make every 10 minutes at max. Of course, it can vary. I do have the grinding robots set up on Enderman. Obviously, you can get way more grinding robots set up on these, but of course, I'd need even more. So if I do find grinding robots or mining robots for a good price, I will be buying more, but currently I need a better money-making method so that I can afford them, which is why I'm going to stick with villagers. Before we end off the video, I have currently got 41 block tickets, so I'm going to quickly roll all of these and place them down and see what my island value can get to. Seeing that I am 317, can we check IS top? I am currently 246, so I'm going to place all these and I'll bring you guys back once the island value has calculated and we'll see what we get up to. If we have a look at iStop, it did update and I am worth 406,000. Having a look, I am now positioned 212th. So I was 246, I believe, so not too bad after about 41 block tickets, but clearly I'm not crazy on iStop at the moment. And I probably won't be, but I do aim to hopefully try and get into the top 100. But I am going to need to be grinding a lot more if I do want to achieve that. Alright guys, that is the end of the video there. Hopefully you all did enjoy. Make sure you guys do your best to try and get some more mi mining and grinding robots on your island. Seeing they are OP, especially to get some gems going. If you guys did enjoy or find this helpful, please do make sure to like and subscribe. Join the Discord if you haven't already. And other than that, I'll catch you in the next one.